All right, when your Instagram video goes viral on complete accident. That's what we're talking about here today in the Deadbeat Zone. All right, what's up Deadbeats? My name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate. Yesterday I posted a video on Instagram and it went nuts. All right, so here's the actual clip from the video. It's just a quick little thing of me doing this goofy jig. And for whatever reason, this video really took off. I got 300,000 views within 24 hours. And what I wanna talk about today are some things that I realized about creating content online the right way to do it and also the power of Instagram when you combine the two. All right, so just to make this a little bit more interactive and snazzy, here is the actual video on Instagram. Let's see if we got the focus in. I think it's focused right now. If it's not, uh, you can just check it out on my Instagram channel. It's Deadbeat Super Affiliate. This video got 330,000 views or it's about 300,000 views in 24 hours. All right, so just to give you a little bit of backstory about this piece of content here, I did not plan this at all. This was a complete like freak of nature. I did, there was no script for this. Essentially what happened was I was out shooting B-roll footage for my YouTube channel. All right, so if you don't know what B-roll footage is, it's just like a snazzy word for video that you overlay on top of your main video, just like this, for example. All right, so you can see how it breaks up the video and makes it more interesting. So this video right here, I was basically standing around waiting for the audio to sync up with the video. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do this goofy jig just to get a laugh. And I did it, I totally forgot about it. And I went home, I was editing the footage and I saw this clip and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna post this up on Instagram. So I went on to Instagram. I also just so you know, video on Instagram is 1080 by 1080. So I did that, I added that little caption on the top which says, that feeling when you make your first dollar online. So here's where I wanna go with this. After doing this for so many years, what I've realized is that usually the content that you spend weeks or months or even years planning never does as well as the stuff that you do stream of conscience. Reason why is because I think when you spend too much time trying to be a perfectionist, it makes your content rigid you spend too much time worrying about things that no one or no one's gonna even notice. Like for example, if you look at the video, it's hard to see it here, but if you look at the video on Instagram, the camera shakes, it tilts back and forth, up and down. The lighting is horrible. Like the footage is almost basically ruined, but none of that mattered. It just took off for whatever reason. Now, when you spend weeks and months planning, like you would say, oh, the, I, need a, I need a tripod. I need the lighting to be at this certain time of the day. Oh, it's a little bit cloudy. I can't do it today. And no one notices, no one cares. And now there might be obviously extreme ends of that, like if you do high class, like cinematic footage. But when it comes to creating online content, it can be literally the worst stuff in the world as long as it, tell, it invokes a feeling or the words match the video and it, it makes people feel something. That is the key, quality does not matter as much. So that's what I wanna talk about content. And what I really wanna talk about though is why the power of Instagram and why this is what I think to be a huge opportunity for affiliate marketers in the next few years. All right, so Instagram to me is the equivalent of building a, a bunch of acquaintances versus YouTube, for example, or a blog or an email list where it's much more personal, building friendships. All right, so the difference is, is that YouTube, you can build a tighter connection, in my opinion, and Instagram is kind of like a quick little flash, brand awareness, cast a very, very big net to pull people into the, the funnels that you create in order to develop a deeper relationship with. So Instagram is almost like going out into public and saying every time you pass a stranger, like, hey, what's up, how you doing? Uh, it's a great day, a good afternoon, like doing those quick little brief introductions, quick pieces of content. And this is what gets people aware of your brand, your channel, what, what you have, the message that you have to share. And now with that said, in, with Instagram releasing things like IGTV and you can post longer form videos, that will give you the ability to develop deeper relationships. But Instagram is a way to go out there into the internet, tap into a different audience, a bigger audience, and convert those people into friends develop that, big, that, that tighter connection rather than this broad, quick interaction. All right, so that's just what I've learned so far about Instagram. Also, some other tips, um, interactive com content seems to work really well. So instead of just posting images of you just like chilling, while that can work, it needs to either invoke a feeling or have some kind of ca call to action to get people to kind of like call out your audience to do something. And just to give you a better idea of that type of content would be like, you know, post how you're feeling today or like describe your life in two words. Those type of interactive posts get people interacting with your content, which basically when people commit to your content, 
that's the start of a relationship. All right, guys, so with that said, um, that's really, I just wanted to t t tune in with that. Hopefully you got some value. And just a quick heads up, I am releasing a summer discount code for some of my products in the next few days, maybe sometime this week coming up. It's a summer discount for my online business training programs. We talk about affiliate marketing, Amazon affiliate marketing, and how to start a business on YouTube. All right, so in the next few days, I'll be sending out an email or something like that, notifying you of the discount if you want to get into those programs for 50% off. All right, guys, so with that said, if you're not, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's instagram.com slash deadbeatsuperaffiliate. I post smaller little funny videos with the Deadbeat brand. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Also, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification button so you're notified of any videos that I release when I release them. With that said, I'm going to go take a nap. So I'll see you, Deadbeats, later.